fit. Maybe you can hear me so I can start. Hello. Yes, we can. We can. We can hear you. Good. Can you see the screen I'm sharing right now? Can you see the chat? Yep. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Uh, good evening and happy Sunday. I hope your day has been good so far. And I, for those that have been trading, I hope you guys have you've been having profit in most of it on all your trades, I believe. Right? Okay, tonight I'm going to be talking on trading. Because like I said uh, in the morning, I'm going to be talking about trading, basically uh, leverage trading, BitMEX trading, and how to do leverage. Because if, what I'm going to teach you tonight, there are things, if you learn it, if you know how to do it on BitMEX, you can do it on Binance, you can do it on Polynex, you can do it on any exchange. And you can do it on most, uh, what's called, any Forex exchange. For those that want to trade Forex, these are things you can do. It's just for you to understand the platform. So right now, I'm going to be starting with understanding BitMEX platform. That is where I do most of my trades, okay? So tonight, uh, looking at my trade right now, this is, okay, this is my, uh, this is my free account where I get to, you get to leverage on trading. Uh-oh, it's too bad, fine. This is my free account where you get to leverage on, uh, where, where you get to trade and leverage. Now, there's something you guys should understand. For you to be able to trade on BitMEX or, or any uh, leverage trading, let's say on Binance, Binance, let's say we're doing, now, on Binance, we have spot trading, we have futures trading. Spot trading is actually what the one which allows you to be able to trade. Like the trading involves you be able to you buy low and sell high. And that's the general convention of on trading. When people are saying they are trading, it tends to buy low, say I buy low, say and let's say I buy at six thousand dollars, I sell at seven thousand dollars, make the profit and keep your profit. That is more or less what we call spot trading. Now, level trading allows you to be able to earn more. Like if, you, if, you, if I'm doing level trading, I do a level trading on 10x. That means whatever I, whatever I invested, let's say I invest $100, but $100, and I take my $100, and another person takes on, let's say, uh, takes his own $100 to trade on uh, Binance. Now, another person, let's say you uh, must take your own uh, $100 to trade on Binance as well. Now, Timitopet did for next uh, future trade, you do spot trade, and I did uh, leverage trade on my Binance. Now, if I trade on 10X, on Binance uh, on my BitMEX. If Bitcoin did 10%, let's say I'm trading with under there right now, Bitcoin did 10%, I'm going to be getting 10 times, uh, if, I, if I trade with under dollars, I'll be 100 times 10, that's $1,000. That's probably me, I, I'll be gaining my under dollars that I traded with. Now, likewise, uh, if, you trade with, if you trade on Binance, I did, and it did 10x leverage, I mean 10x leverage. Now, if Bitcoin do 10%, like right now, this guy is doing about five percent today. If you get ten percent, you're going to be making ten times whatever amount you trade with, which is hundred dollars. That'll be one thousand dollars. Now, if you're between most that trade with spot trade, the number buy low, I buy low and said I, which is spot trading, it doesn't really invest uh, in in pure leveraging. Is that whatever Bitcoin does, you ten percent, you're going to begin ten percent of whatever you trade with. Let's say you trade with hundred dollars, you're going to be getting ten percent, which is ten dollars. So now that is the uh, advantage of you using leverage trading. And that is why I want us to understand what leverage is and how we can, uh, oh boy, I want to how we can leverage uh, leverage trading strategies. Now, most of the things I've been talking about today has to do with navigating BitMEX trading, how to trade on BitMEX, then okay. how to reverse trade, how you can reverse trade on, on trading on BitMEX. Let's mm -hmm. say you're shorting, you want to reverse to long, how to do that, then how to set your stop loss. And I'm going to give you a free, uh, a free strategy. What I, normally I give it to my premium members, but I'm going to give it to every, every one of us free tonight. So uh, let's start from that, uh, from trading. Now, when you create your account, like you're saying right now, the next thing for you to do is to go to, uh, you can go to your account section. On the account section, you can see deposits can still withdraw, right? So. Major thing, if you want to deposit, click on deposit. When you click on deposit, you can either use, you, if you want to send for your, let's say you want to send for your blockchain account, you can scan this code or you can copy this at your receiving address and you send your coin. Let's say you're investing $100 right now. This is a free account and you get 0.01 XBTC. 
in this account. Now, another thing most people don't really uh that okay, sorry before I get there. Another thing you need to go, you need to study and you, you need to take into consideration whenever you're trading on any exchange, any 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 online investment is for you to make sure you deal with security. And now, uh, and my security expert has to do with my account. You go to account. Uh, I'm coming. Yeah, sorry, security center. From this security center, you can send to your security. Ah, this is my uh, uh, free account. I really don't put security on it because it's more or less a free thing. If they hack it, I'm not losing any. Now, this free account is best for you to have your uh, Google Authentication activated. Now, if you have Google Authentication activated, it is going to allow you to you keep your account secure in such a way that if anybody have access, even if anybody know your password, if they don't have the access to your phone, that is the phone that generates your Google authentication code, they will not be able to log into the account and they cannot withdraw your, your phone, which actually makes it difficult for hackers to hack your account. Even if your email is hacked, if your email gets hacked, your uh, this thing will not get hacked. You have access to, they won't be able to have access to your account. Now, the other aspect I will want you guys to take, uh, take notice is the, ref the my preference tab. On this preference tab is where you can actually activate notifications, stop triggers, like for you want Bitcoin to email, send the email for the validation of the fake, probably when your account has been traded, or you want notifications, stop trigger alarm, and all this stuff. Those are where you can come to and activate those ones. And the other part that people, I realize most people have not really been making use of is the affiliate status. Now, this is my uh, free account. I, I did not. I don't refer people on this. Now, if you refer anybody on, if you refer on this using Bitmex, whenever I use your Bitcoin refer account to refer, mm -hmm. if any of your referral trade between uh, less, anything less than zero XBTC. Now, remember, XBTC is the same thing, is equal to BTC on Bitmex. If anybody trades anything less than, uh, between uh, anything greater than zero, you're going to be 10% for six months. So, you no. Know, Every time you, every time the person you refer trades, you're going to be getting 10% of uh, the fee that, that is being charged to the person. Every time the person trades, you're going to be getting 10%. Then you trade up to 1,000 contract. That's 1,000 exits. You're going to be getting 1,000 above uh, anything above 1,000. You're getting 15%. If anybody trade, anybody you refer trade with around 10,000 exits. That's the 10,000 contract you're getting. Which is actually something so is going to be added. Is something you get paid daily. Now, uh, on my uh, main account, I referred, and I think they must have been able to refer and get about 0 0.1 ABC. That is open ABC, which is about 0 0.5 ABC. That is a free money. Like from people I referred, I referred about 34. After about 34 referrals, I have people that have over 400 referrals, and you have guys that are making 1,000 one bit, one Bitcoin, two Bitcoin based on referral only. Not just trading, just refer. So I will advise you if you're already, already registered on Bitmex. Even if you're not trading, try to uh, do your uh, your network marketing. Tell people about it. Tell people about it. And even if, if you don't know how to train people, refer them to the group. I can share my video with them. Let them know, uh, explore the trading. And with that, you get you, you're going to keep getting uh, funds. You're going to get, get even if you don't have funds to trade. Up from the referral you have, you, uh, you refer it you and be able to get fund to trade. Okay, now that's that about referral. Now let's go back to trade. Now there's something you should note here. Yeah. We have on the place order this thing, we have the limit, we have the limit to have the market, we have the stock market. Now, before I go there, now on this, on this map, these are the coin, coins you can trade. We have XBTC is called the Bitcoin. We have Cardano, we have Bitcoin Cash, we have uh, EOS, we have uh, Electronium, uh, sorry, Ethereum, Litecoin, Tron, uh, and Ripple. Those are the coins you can trade on uh, on Bit. On Bit um, on, if you want to uh, invest in Bit, um, on Bitmax, you can only deposit Bitcoin. Bitcoin. You can't deposit Ethereum and think you want. If you send a, a, most likely if you trade, send it from blockchain, blockchain will tell you it's not correct. But you cannot send any other coin to bit to bitmex apart from bitcoin if you send bitcoin cash it you it your your money will just vanish you know bitcoin this kind of transaction are not reversible once you send it it's gone you can't reverse it you can't trace it back again so that is that for uh depositing now 
we look at the chart right now, I have uh, the fifty quantity. The fifty dollar quantity actually means fifty. That's that's the amount of contract I want to trade with. Now, note there's a difference between uh, me trading with fifty dollars and me trading with. Uh, if you're looking at the chart right now, you, you're seeing fifty USD. That's the quantity I want to trade with. That's the amount. Anybody that sees you think I'm actually trading with fifty dollars? No. What I'm actually trading with is you look at the cost tab. The cost tab is showing zero point zero one four. If you enter 50 here, based on the leverage I'm using, which is 5x, the cost of 5x is 0.014. Now, if you make, if I make 50% on my trade, like when, when I started the trade, I have a $50 trade open, which actually I was able to close at around 10% uh, profit. Now, that trade, if I have it open, if I make 10% on my $50 contract, the 10% I'm going to be making is on this 0.014 uh, investment. This is the cost of this. So whatever profit you're making, you're making if you're making 100%, then you're making 0.014 times 2. That's the profit you're making on the, uh, any order you place. Now, what the difference between leverage and normal spot trading is that for leverage, you can long and you can short. What I mean by longing is that you're predicting the value of this going to go up, so you long. You're predicting the value of Bitcoin to go up, you long. You're predicting the value of Bitcoin to go down, you short. And in that essence, if Bitcoin is going down, you can make profit while Bitcoin is going down. And you can make, also make profit while Bitcoin is going up. These are the same strategies you do on stock and in the stock market or you do on forex market. Uh, when you uh, on forex, if you're trading forex, these are things you do. You can short and long. Like you're shorting Bitcoin, it means you're you need to back the price is going to go down at the at the exact end. Part. And now, looking at the limit, looking at the limit tab. Now, I prefer to use limit tab. Why? Limit tab, the, the fee on limit tab is quite cheaper than the fee on market tab. For limit tab, the fee, the trading fee is about fifteen percent of whatever you or whatever profit you make. While on market tab, the trading fee is seventy-five percent. Now, that is why I prefer using limit to trade all the time. I hardly use. Excuse me, I already use market to trade because though if you are if you have to panic out of the market, the best the best thing for you to use the market to tap. But right now we're using limit tap. Now, like I explained earlier, what uh what we do on Bitcoin on Bitcoin is to long or short. Now, if you're longing, now what I'm trying to do now is uh, I look looking at the chart and now the price of Bitcoin is going up. Let's say I enter this trade. Right now, I'm not doing any analysis. I'm not doing any trend line analysis. I'm not doing any EMA, not using any, any indicator or nothing. I just want to place this entry to explain for you to understand what I mean by uh, longing and shorting now. I'm predict what I want to predict right now is my one, uh, this is a five minute chart. Without using anything, don't forget I said I'm not doing anything. I'm just showing you how it works. Now, in any chart, this is, uh, I'm trying to predict that the price of Bitcoin will go down from here. I just, that just a guess, right? Now, I enter my the quantity, which is $50. Then I will have to enter the price I want to trade with. Now, the price of Bitcoin is at, the spot price of Bitcoin is, seven, is at 7,146. I can enter the price I want to trade with to be, if I'm going to be shorting, then I have to put it above the current market. You have to put your limit price above the current market price because if you put it anything below the current market price, go to exactly at the market price. So the best thing for me to do is like let me say put it at 150. So I'm putting Bitcoin. I'm saying when Bitcoin, when price of Bitcoin gets to one uh, to 7,150.5, the price is going to come down. Now that's what I'm doing. And I'm shorting. So I click on short. Now there's going to be a summary, and I will advise you to always don't click on show. Uh, don't show again because this is the best way for you to get idea about the trade you are executing. Now, there's going to be a summary about the trade. Now, we have, it's telling me I'm going to be selling 50 contracts of XBTC, that is XBTC USD, at 7,150.5. Now, uh, the, uh, the other value is what? 0.069 XBTC. Now, this is the cost. That is, the cost of whatever I'm trading with is 0.014. And remember what I told you earlier. When I'm trading, when I said, I'm trading with $50. This is the actual amount I'm trading with. This is the Bitcoin, the, this is the Bitcoin value. Whatever profit I make, if I'm making 100%, it's going to be 100% on this investment. If I'm making 200%, it's going to be 200% on this investment. 
Now, the more you trade, the more you trade. Let's say, like like I said, ten percent on hundred dollars is going is is ten dollars. Now, if you're making, if you trade with that, if you trade with hundred dollars, now if you trade with one thousand dollars, ten percent on one thousand dollars is hundred dollars. So you're going to be getting more when you trade with, uh, when you trade with large amount of money. So, now this is a summary of your trade. You have the position, the the you're saying it's showing minus. Minus means short. Then the market price is 140.5. Uh, then estimated liquidation price. Now, what this means is when you're saying 888, 882.5, what it means is the price of Bitcoin gets to 882.5. That is, the, the, my prediction did not go according to what I planned, what, according to what I said it goes. Because I predicted Bitcoin is going to come down. But instead of Bitcoin going, coming down, it keeps going up. And if it keeps going up and it gets to 882.5, I am going to lose this amount of money because I'm trading with X, 5X. I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose this other value. This is the amount I'm going to lose. If Bitcoin goes against me and it's, and it's 8,882, I'm going to lose that part, uh, amount. And if Bitcoin goes according to what I planned, it's going to go, uh, I'm going to be any more. Now, always note that Whenever you're trading, whenever you want to trade, make sure you are far away from your liquidation price as a beginner. And as a beginner, I will not because I'll, okay, let me cancel this. As a beginner, let me explain the, the leverage now. We have the cross leverage. We have one x. We have two x up to hundred x. What cross leverage means is whenever you're trading, whenever you're doing any, whenever you you place a trade on cross leverage, it means you are trading with all the money, all the amount, all the money in your account. That you are trading with all the money in your account, and if any, if, the, if the market goes at, uh, against you and it gets to the liquidation price, now cost was 0 0.014, right? Now when I put it to cross leverage, look at the cost. The cost is 0 0.000, exactly below 0 0.00001. Now what this is telling me is that now you know I'm putting it on cross leverage right now. When I short it on cross leverage, it's showing what my liquidation price is showing what about one. Uh, 10, 10, 10 million. So until Bitcoin it reaches 10 million, that is when I'm going to lose all the amount of my all the money in my account. Now, they, there's a benefit to using cross leverage, which is actually making you trade far away from your liquidity price, uh, the amount of your account. But if the trade goes against you and it it gets to your uh, what's it called your liquidity price, you're going to lose all the money in your account. Now, while trading with one X. Or 2x or anything between 1x and 100x that means whatever you, whatever if, if the uh this thing goes against you and reaches reach your liquidation price you're going, only going to lose the amount you trade with the, the other value that's the only amount you're going to be losing you're not going to lose all the money in your account so that is the major difference between using cross leverage and using uh every other leverage uh every other uh, leverage option now i'm going to explain the benefits of using every other one and not using cross leverage in a sense that it actually allows you to change your liquidation. If, you, if, you, if you're trading with 10x or 5x and you want and you get it close to your liquidation, there's a, there's a counter liquidation strategy I'm going to explain later on, uh, probably close to the end of this uh, video, uh, end of this session, how you can actually change your liquidation. There's a way to increase, uh, move yourself far away from your liquidation and you will not get liquidation. That is if you still have more room. Now, that is basically how to place a trade. So if you want to place a trade on, if you want to place a trade right now, I'm going to enter, I'm, I'm trading with $100. I'm trading $100. I'm going to predict Bitcoin is going to go, it's going, I'm shorting Bitcoin from 1,140. Now, what is it showing me? It's showing me that using, what leverage I'm using? I'm using close leverage. Because I'm using close leverage, I'm only going to get liquidated if Bitcoin reaches 24,881.5. That is when I'm going to lose all the money in my account if Bitcoin gets to that price and I did not close my trade. Now, remember, when you're trading, you, if, you are, if you are in profit, you are not yet in profit until you close that profit. And, you are, if, and if you're trading and you, and you are losing, you, are not yet, you have not yet lost the amount you, you have in your account until you close at loss. Get, get to understand that. Because 
if you panic, that is one of that's one of the things. If you understand that, you get to be able to control your emotions. Okay. So uh, I'm, I'm not. I don't want to use uh, cross level. I'm going to be using five x. Now, using, looking at five x. Now, looking at my available balance, my available balance is zero point zero one x BTC. Now, I'm trading with zero point zero zero two eight. Now, this is about. Uh, this will be about twenty percent of the amount I have in my account right now. So. I'm placing a short trade on 5x leverage. Now, look at my liquidation. Whenever Bitcoin gets to $8,869, I'm going to use this amount. I'm going to be using whatever uh, the, this uh, total amount I'm trading with. So let me short. Now, when I, when, I, when I place my order, the order, because I'm trading, I'm using uh, what's called limit. With limit order, you can be able to set the entry you want. But with market, if you come to market, like look at market tab right now, you don't have the option to be able to enter the price you want to trade, you want to enter at. All you need to do is just enter the amount and you execute. It's going to enter at market price, which is 7,130 right now. So, but remember what I told you about the fee. That is why by using limit. Now, good. Coming back to limit. Now, if I want to change, probably this thing is waiting too long. I just want to let's just uh, adjust the trade so that I can quickly enter the trade now. This is where my 1140.5 is. You can easily adjust, you can adjust the tab, probably close to, let's just adjust it close to the market price. And let's see, once it it's, once the price hits 1130.5, it's going to execute. Once it's executed, it's going to see my position here. Now, let me just, let me, let me place it to execute because I want to, you know, what I did is actually bringing it below I brought the, the this thing below below the current market price, so it's going to automatically execute. And right now, what, what do you see? It has been executed. Right now, it's showing minus with my under the last contract showing minus one and eleven. Now, that doesn't mean I'm losing one uh, one point one one percent of the amount I'm I'm trading with. Like I said, you are not yet in loss until you close at loss, and you're not yet in profit until you close at profit. Now. What I want to show you, because our time is going right now, what I want to show you is, you look at here, I have my liquidation to 8,856.5. Now, and, and the trade is going against me right now at 1%. Uh, 1 right? I'm, I'm, I'm using probably one, if I close right now, I'm going to be using 1% of the amount I'm trading with. Now, to change it, this is this is account uh, liquidation for my uh, premium member that's playing, I have like about three strategies but three or four strategies for contract liquidation. This is, this is like the third one. So this is the fourth one in which you, you can actually execute your contract liquidation if you're not using cross leverage. So the best thing to do now, if you look at your margin, your margin is showing what? 0 0.0001. Now, to, to, ch to change your liquidation price, you come in, let me show you, let me go back to my liquidation price. Now look at my liquidation price again. My liquidation price is 8,856.5. Now I want to be able to I want to move further from my liquidation price. What I do is click on my margin and increase my margin. By increasing my margin, let me increase my margin to 0 0.009. Look at what, what will happen to my you can see looking at my liquidation price right now. My liquidation price will ascend from 8,856 to 9624 because I increased my margin. And you can you I will only advise you to do that when you when you have actually only done your uh, analysis you've done your you've done your trend line you've done you used your you've done basic technical analysis to be able to understand that you know that the price of Bitcoin will not go below this price like the price of Bitcoin will not hit the price that's the only time I will advise you to use this if the trade is going against you if the trade is not if, if, if the trade is going against you and you feel like the the which can, can actually get liquidated and hit this price, the best thing for you to do is to either use or that, uh, sorry, either close your trade at, or you can use an account liquidation strategy, which uh, these are one of the strategies I, explain, I already explained to my premium members. You can have, a, have, a, have access to every of my strategies and trading strategy. If, you, if you're interested, just message me after this, after this video or after this class. I'm going to give you uh, I will give you insights on how to trade. Okay, now the price of Bitcoin is actually going. I think more or less going according to what I what I said is going to do right now. And this is that's the second the strategy I told you on how to 
do your counter allocation. Now, if the, if the trade is going against you and you want to combat, let's say the, you, the trade is going against you already and you want to combat your short to long. Let's say right now, I want to convert my short to long. The best thing for you to do is to place, uh, increase your other value. Right now, I'm trading with hundred. I'm trading with hundred dollars worth of contract. I can change my my contract to two hundred dollars worth of contract, and I long. What is what is going to do is it's going to enter. It's going to close my trade and at the exact market price. I'm going to uh, continue with long with hundred dollars. We have about ten minutes left. Let me quickly run it up right now. So and I, let me quickly go to stop uh, the using stop loss. Now, if you want to use stop loss, you stop market. If you want to use stop market. Remember the what I explained about the fee in when you're using markets and limits. The fee on market is quite higher than the fee on limits. Now, if you want to use stop loss on, if you're using stop loss on market and you realize this thing is really going against you, the best thing for you to do is just to place the exact amount you trade, which is hundred dollar right now, and the limit price is actually is okay. I'm using market. I'm using limit right now. Let me use stop market. So using stop limit. To stop limit, the best way to go about it is to enter your limit price. Now, this is the limit. This, the limit price is the price you want to close, and the stop price is the trigger price. The stop price is the price it will trigger. Why the limit price is the price it will close? That is, if I if I place this order, what I'm saying is, let me say I want to I want to long right now at uh, this is stop stop loss at. Uh, Now, this is because I, I I short because I'm shorting. If you're going to place if you're going to place your stop loss, make sure whatever whatever amount you, you're entering. If you are shorting, you must see set by stop. Your step by stop will be activated. If you are longing, I want to place your stop loss. Your set your set by your set sell stop must be activated. Right now, initially my sell stop my sell my set sell, sell stop was what was activated. That's because you didn't act. Did not enter your my I did not enter it correctly. So you have to make sure you enter it correctly if you're going to be if you're going to be using stop loss. Okay. So uh, I, I enter my I'm right now I'm actually in profit right now. If you look at the trade right now because I placed a short entry from here and the price is already here. Now because it's a, a simulated trade, most times the the percentage doesn't really show. Right. Right now I should be in about uh, probably around. Two percent profit right now because I I shot Bitcoin as one seven thousand one thirty and the price is at seven thousand one hundred. Right now it will not it, the, the market price the 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 mark price the mark price the reason why it's not showing my correct percentage right now is because the mark price for Bitcoin right, right now is at seven thousand one hundred forty dollars. So if if the mark if this mark price goes below seven thousand one thirty that's when you start seeing my my uh, return of equity that is the ROE, the return of equity, that's when you're going to start selling. So you can easily place your stop loss. If I want to place my stop loss, I want to place my stop loss because I'm longing, I have to place my stop loss above my current price. If I'm shorting, I place my stop loss. If I'm longing, I place my stop loss below the, my, my, my mark price. So placing my stop loss right now, I'm going to be placing my stop loss at, like that is, if Bitcoin goes to, if Bitcoin gets to 7,000, one one seventy two, and it's going to trigger at seven thousand five fifty. If we can get to seven thousand uh, one ninety one, that is when it's going to trigger. It will not stop. That is what I'm trying to do now. Is that when we can get to seven thousand one hundred ninety one, if we get to seven thousand one hundred thirty one hundred seventy two, it will not close. But until we get to seven thousand one hundred ninety one. And you're doing that, you must make sure that your, your mark price is actually activated. One of the mistakes people make is when I, when I place a stop loss and they realize I place my stop loss, but my stop loss is not close. What you do is because you do not put, put it on mark, that is, you, 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 don't, you don't put it to mark to, to, trigger, to execute on, on when it hits the mark price. That is why it doesn't, it, your, your stop loss will not trigger when, whenever it hits that price. So if you're going to be placing stop loss, you can put it on, you, you trigger. Your, my trigger right now is whenever I eat the mark price. That is this mark, this price. Whenever it eat, when the price eats, that is when it should trigger in the instantly. That is when you have to put it on uh, mark. But if you want to have some left, uh, and look at my stop loss. What I'm, what I did now, I'm placing my hundred dollar contract at seven thousand one hundred seventy two. Like I told you, the price is going to 
uh, price is at seven thousand one hundred seventy-two. The trigger price is seven thousand. Last price at seven thousand one hundred ninety-two or above. Whenever price the price goes to seven thousand one hundred ninety-two or above, it's going to trigger that I already placed a stop loss. And if this cannot start coming down, like if, if that go, comes down below seven thousand one hundred ninety-one and hits seven thousand one hundred seventy-two, it's going to close. My my stop stop loss is going to execute. Okay. So if I place my stop loss right now, if I come to the chart, switch into one hour chart, come to the chart, you can see my stop loss already here. So if Bitcoin comes, to, if Bitcoin is this price, it's going to trigger. So if Bitcoin is the price, it's going to trigger and close. Open a trade, you need to know how to close the trade. Sorry, I didn't get, because of the time, I could not attend to that every time. So if you, as we have the trade right now, this is the current trade I have every time. Then I replace, to close your trade, there are different ways. One, you can either place uh, the exact amount of quantity. Let's say I'm trading on my, I'm shorting hundred dollars right now. I, if I'm going to close the trade, I'm going to long hundred dollars exact amount. That is, I'm going to long hundred dollars at the price I want to close the closing limit. That is option one. Option two, when you add your trade being executed here, the next thing as you can see right now, I'm actually I'm having two point five percent profit right now on this trade. Well, it has not been executed. Now, if you want to close the trade, you can either enter the limit price you want to close here. If you enter the limit price you want to close here and click on close. So you can, if you are already on profit, you can just, just click here and click on market, automatically execute at the market price. Or you can use your limit tab. This is a, this is a limit option where you enter the price you want to close and you click on close. And whenever, whenever Bitcoin hits that price, you want to close. So right now, what I did was to use the limit price. I, I, I'm using the limit tab and allows me to be able to enter um, so whatever Bitcoin reaches the price is going to execute. Now another one is to use your take profit. You can either use take profit limits or take profit markets. Take profit limits tells you that you, you can use that to use your trade by using enter entering the exact amount you're trading which is hundred dollars right now that I'm trading with and using the limits the limit price the limit price is seven point uh, the limit price is at seven seven thousand eighty eight, and the trigger is at seven thousand one hundred ninety one. That's what you're saying is whenever the price of Bitcoin reaches one hundred and ninety, seven thousand and ninety one, it's going to trigger. And if Bitcoin comes down, Bitcoin you know Bitcoin fluctuates a lot. Bitcoin that comes down and goes below that and hits seven thousand and seventy eight, it's going to execute and close my my trade. That is another another strategy which you can close it. And note. Like I said, I have a take profit buy because I'm shorting what you must. The next thing, if you want to, if you want to take your profit and put a close at profit, you take you keep on close a take profit buy. If you're, if you're longing, you must enter your price so that you can have this activity, which is take, take, uh, take profit sell. Okay? So basically, that's how to so close the trade. So thanks you for tonight's class. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And if you want to join my premium group i will drop the i'll drop my contact you can reach me on whatsapp or use the youtube channel to, to reach me so you can communicate well and i can join okay thank you for joining and bless you